Same time? Three, two, one. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Happy holidays, everybody. Welcome back to another Vincent Vision. Today, we are doing the Universal Holiday Tour. This is a tour here at Universal where you get to see all of the holiday offerings Universal has to offer and some exclusives as well. We are gonna see the Grinch show, meet Santa Claus, meet the Grinch, and we're gonna meet Max the dog. We are getting ready to check in for our 5.30 time. That is when these tours start. My first tip right off the bat, get here a little early because it might be the first night jitters and it's like a little extra busy because of that, but there is already quite a line waiting to check in. We paid about $100 each for both of our spots on this tour and it does not include park admission. So make sure you've got that squared away before you book this tour. Our first adventure on this tour, once we check in, is seeing the Grinch show and we'll see where it goes from there. This holiday tour has been different every single time that I have done it. I have many different videos on all the previous years, so I'm curious to see how this year goes. So without further ado, let's get this holiday party started. So we have checked in for our tour. We just met our tour guide, Wes. He kind of gave us the lowdown of what's gonna be going on tonight. Basically, this is a five hour tour and we are getting started with the Grinchmas Show. Inside a snowflake, like the one on your sleeve, there happened a story you must see to believe. <laughs> I'm speaking in the rhymes. So we saw The Grinch Show, again, honestly, one of my favorite theme park shows. I'll say on the record, I used to really not like this show, but almost like The Grinch, uh, learning how to love Christmas. They have really learned to love The Grinchmas Show every year, so I'm always super, super excited to see it. After that, though, we did something which was new to the tour. We went straight from the show over to Villain Con Minion Blast, and that was sort of like our ride for the tour. Last year was the first time they did a ride. It was the Race Through New York with Jimmy Fallon. I think I like this better as a ride experience. Um, it still feels a a little random in the holiday tour, I have to admit, but it was cool to do. It's a fun, easy ride, super kid-friendly. A lot of kids do these tours. Probably the most family-friendly ride at the park that everyone can do with no problems. And it's just nice to like add more to my score. But now we're back over in the soundstage where we saw the Grinch show and we're kind of at like a, a free-for-all here where we've got a whole bunch of different things we can do. We are here at their food lounge, which is actually really great this year. They've got some nice hot food, some savory bites, and this is probably, I think, the best version of the food I've seen in the tour so far. They've got some pasta, they've got some chicken, french fries, a whole bunch of charcuterie options to pick from. I would still maybe recommend trying to get a little bite before the tour itself starts because once we got to the actual tour, and we were sitting watching the show, we were both like really, really hungry. But here in this open area, there are Who's interacting with us. We had a fun little chat with one of the Who's. And then also in the lobby is Max the dog, which we're gonna try to meet in a little bit. But we have first got to meet the Grinch himself. Oh. <laughs> okay, all right, we're gonna go meet the Grinch now. We've got all these people standing here, and they're just like, I don't know what to do. Come on! <laughs> Uh, so, who goes first? Me, you, you, me, you, you. Same time? Three, two, one. Hey, how you doing? Is that not, I thought we were screaming. No, that's not, oh, we can, I mean, we can scream. No, we're fine, it already happened. I just wanted to wish you a happy hula day, and we hope you're having a great night meeting all these wonderful people. Okay, first of all, it's Merry Grinchmas. Ah. Secondly, 
not having a great night. Thirdly, who says all these people are wonderful, huh? <laughs> Nobody I know. <laughs> Have you gone to breakfast yet? We did do breakfast. Excellent. We did breakfast. It was delicious. It. Yeah? We recommend the... Uh, better than last year or worse? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say slightly better. Honest. Hot cake. <laughs> yeah. What are we doing next, Ellison? We're meeting Max. We had a little extra time, so we are here to meet Max. The thing I was very, probably the most excited to do. Hey, Max. Oh, my gosh. Oh, the best of. Max the dog. Oh, so cute. So amazing. Oh. Oh, wow. Good boy. Good boy? Girl? Good boy. Oh, good boy. There we go. Just making sure. Oh. Good job. Good job. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you know, the last time we did this tour, I actually didn't get to meet the Grinch. Um, so I actually appreciated this. We, we were sort of brought into the theater and said, hey, we are going to meet the Grinch. You are going to be dragged into the theater to meet him, which is honestly like how it should be. But now we're back out in the park. It is officially closed for day guests, which leaves just the guests of the holiday tour. And we get to do something which is, uh, I think, one of my favorite things during the holiday season. Enjoy Universal Studios at at night. This park is so beautifully decorated, especially in the Hollywood area. Right now we're pausing to go into the Universal Studios Tribute Store. Uh, we've already done that, so we don't really need to go inside. We're just kind of hanging out here, taking some pictures, hanging out with our tour guide, Wes. Uh, yeah, just waiting for our, our next spot here on the holiday tour. So we have made it to our next stop on the tour. We are at Cafe La Bamba, and this is where we are having the sweets on our tour. Now, I should mention this tour does include food. It includes a savory portion at the start of the tour and a sweet portion on the second half. And that's the order that it'll always be. So we went to the soundstage area for the savory food, and then we're coming here to Cafe La Bamba for the sweet food. There's three different things you can get. They have a Grinch sugar cookie, a, a ribbon cake, a pepper and cheesecake, and they all look pretty good. Ellison and I, we love that Grinch sugar cookie though. This is our favorite all the time. We got this at the Grinch breakfast we did yesterday. and. Now we've got it here. We're gonna go ahead and try this ribbon cake right here. Cut into that sucker. Mm, 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 mm. Very sweet. It kind of reminds me of like a fruit cake. We're now here in the New York area waiting to meet Santa and we have stopped by the beautiful Christmas tree here. It is 80 feet tall, 72 feet for the tree. The star is eight feet. So pretty, one of the coolest things here during the holidays. And a really great opportunity to get some pictures in front of the tree with barely anybody here. Wow, cheese, cheese, ching, ching, ching. <laughs> what are we doing now, Allison? We get to meet the fat man. <laughs> Don't call him the fat man. This going in, you got they, going on. <laughs> Inspired by you, we're well, working towards it. I don't know if I'm gonna make it all the way to this. Are we rolling? We are rolling, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. Where are you folks yeah. from? We're from Orlando. Oh, right here in Orlando. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, long walk, right? <laughs> long sleigh ride, right? What do you want for Christmas? I just want to uh, be with Ellison, my lovely lady. That's all I need. That's all I need. Christmas, Christmas magic. Yes, yes. Christmas magic. <laughs> so we met Santa. It's great fun interaction, like always. Now we have walked over from Universal Studios to Islands of Adventure. Love me some Universal at night, but I love me some Islands of Adventure at night even better. And we are ending our tour here in Hogsmeade, and we are going to be seeing the magic of Christmas at Hogwarts Castle. This is something that they've always had as a tour. It's sort of a big grand finale. It is a wonderful show. It is about 10.30 now. That is something to keep in mind with this tour. It is a five hour tour, which means we are gonna be done with the park at 11 o'clock at night. So maybe if you are someone who is trying to do an all day theme park day, and then this tour at the end of it, like <laughs> maybe go back to the hotel and take a nap before, especially if you're staying at one of the Universal hotels.
as we're leaving, I gotta highlight one of my favorite things here during the holidays. These trees, you only see them at night, but look how cool they are. All these different glowing designs. They change, like the Grinch shows up on there, Max the dog shows up on there. Very, very cool. Definitely worth a stop to just like stare at this for a little bit. <laughs> here at the port of entry and I will say overall this year's tour I have a, a mostly mostly good things to say this is probably the best version of the tour that I've done this has had the most amount of things to do and I thought our tour in particular was spread out pretty well and pretty evenly where we were always sort of engaged with what was happening. There was some downtime, okay? Now that's something I'm always gonna say, this tour, they just haven't been able to escape it. There are moments of downtime where you're kind of just like hanging out and like that might be great if you are with your family and you want to spend time with the kids and they just want to run around and play. But like there were moments where we had kind of like had our snacks already and we were just kind of sitting around waiting to move on to the next thing. And, and that just like comes with the tour. That's just the way things work out for how everything is very scheduled and timed. Remember that when you're coming into the tour, pack your patience. The food options were really great this year. I love the way they split up the savory food and the sweets food into two separate bits. I love that we got to meet Max. I love that I got to meet the Grinch. Santa is great as always. If you were interested in doing the tour this year, I think it would be a good time. So, good job, Universal. Thank you for letting us meet Max. And yeah, great holiday tour. Would recommend if you love the holidays here at Universal. But apart from that, it is time for us to head on home. It's 11 o'clock, okay? We wanna go home. We had a great time, but it's time for us to go home. We gotta go see our dogs. Yes, so we gotta go see our we dogs. Go but we're not gonna tell them that we met another dog named Max. Or so, that he booped my nose. Yeah, yeah, That's <laughs> they're gonna keep that between all of us. Us and you guys watching the video. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching another Vincent Vision. We hope you had fun having fun with us. Please, if you haven't already, like and subscribe for more Universal videos like this one. We hope you guys enjoy the holiday tour. If you do it and if you have any questions about it, please leave a comment down below. I'll do my best to answer them for you. But until then, we're gonna get on out of here. So thank you guys for watching Vincent Vision and we'll see you at the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Wow!